Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Dice Folk, the creature collecting, dice building, roguelike. We are going to be going in with the Wrath Talisman once more on trial mode number three, which I'm really excited about this one. It seems like a notable increase for us, more than a big notable increase for them, which is interesting. Uh, we get starter dice are stronger. Obviously, that could be great. That could be not a big deal. I don't know. It depends how they are stronger. Bosses spawn with guard is an annoying thing, but in the grand scheme of the battle, it's just blocking one hit once. So it is definitely a difficulty increase, but not a big deal. Unless their allies get it too, then eh, it's getting a little bit weird. One of the starter chimeras is iridescent. Didn't matter yesterday, might matter on this faction. Uh, you can reroll all dice once per turn. Enemies have an additional die, and common enemies have better stats. Let's give it a go. I, uh, I've been really digging this ascension system because it's fun to get tools to play around with. Uh, mini furnace and an activate. Whoa, okay. Wait, hold on. We have destroy a die? That definitely wasn't there last time. It's used without triggering. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, two strengthen ones. Strengthen up for the rest of battle? Three free rotates and three random rotates. I don't remember what the this faction's dice were in the first place, though. But uh, we'll just have to see. I'll go ahead and slap that on there. We might as well... Ooh, eight damage. So the Iridescent is just a two strength upgrade. That's actually... I'm going to say that that's probably better than the other one yesterday. Uh, so I'm in. Also, it's start of battle. Turn start. On turn start, gain an amount of strength equal to the number of used equipment slots for the rest of the battle. Yeah, that is fantastic. Uh, especially, like, those things together. We might actually use this sucker for a long time. We'll get rid of that. So you're the, uh, whenever you attack, you attack twice, sucker. Energy shock is plenty good. The question is if I go for the strengthen or if I... Yeah, let's do it. Because now I, I just need to hit twice. Okay. The entangle is good. We can help. We can even random rotate. It doesn't even do anything. Snipe. This seems really, really good to start here. All right. What do we have for a chimera? Allied strength gain attack a random opponent once. This is the day. If I were to take this sucker to the end. This is the day. Right? Passive plus two strength. Every turn. Gains an amount of strength equal to the. I mean like. That's theoretically uh, potentially two free attacks. If we can get that going. Let's do it dude. Welcome aboard, dude. See, yeah, there's a free attack immediately. We can do a strengthen up, which is another free attack. Uh, Clash. Clash is the best we can expect, really. Out of this die. Would I rather lose a money? Perfect. This is also kind of nice, too, because it's uh, he does the energy shock. He doesn't steal my money. Welcome to the front. Cool. If we can get an equipment to put on you, that'll be nice, because then that's an extra attack every turn. That can obviously get out of hand. On spawn, if not in the lead, gain leech. Yeah. Kind of dig that. Passive, 10 max HP on spawn if in the lead. Inflict 10 confusion. So we could just do something like that and it's okay, right? If in the lead, specifically. All right, we're, we're going to we're gonna buff you up a bunch. I think it is the call. A bunch of HP. 
I am most likely to keep you, but there's always, there's a chance today that I actually keep that guy until the end. This is the first time where I'm like, maybe I will. Maybe I'll keep my starter Chimera till the very end. One, two. Gee, I think we'll, uh, we'll do that. a pretty juicy start there. Did you only attack once? I think you did. It doesn't have to be in the lead, does it? doesn't say on there that it has to be in the lead unless the uh, iridescent is doing that oh yeah no that's what yeah it's on this is on spawn what the hell the difference between these iridescent this iridescent and the one yesterday is unbelievable <laughs> what it's so different i think i could keep this guy the whole time it's gonna be hard to swap him out like really really hard to swap him out gain mana support attack I'll take that very very interesting shouldn't matter should check the thrift shop I might need to go for a bunch of equipment slot for you then, I guess. 10 activation once per battle to 200 damage to all opponents. Wow, that would have been really good yesterday. Passive 5 max, max HP once per battle when attacked. Fold equal to the opposing leader's strength. Some good stuff. But yeah, I'm, I might just have to give this sucker a lot of upgrades. Because if he, if we can just give him, like, the five or whatever, it's just it's great. So this is no more opponent die uh, than uh-oh. Not what I was hoping for. I'm actually just good with this. I I'm just good with him getting attacked. Doesn't bother me much. Activate one. I don't know that I really care. want to get hit. Could end up with like a clash, I guess. Would be an improvement. Goodbye. Yeah, these two together are just so good is the is the thing. It's every turn. On spawn gain relentless survives one fatal attack with one HP. Enerston? Take the free rotates over there. We are now more likely to get free rotates than random rotates on the mid die. Gonna take that for sure. All right. That is the possible issue, I suppose. You attack me, and then I attack back. And get healed, right? In that order? Yes, indeed. This is a little bit spooky. Okay, good. That die is 
not that likely to be something great. Dude, I think I think I'm I think I'm gonna win already. <laughs> I'm so shocked at how much better this iridescent is than the other. Um You are mm -hmm. when you attack to do damage to your allies. I don't have a benefit for that right now. I think that like not being in the pain faction. There's no die here, right? They have to you have to be in the next zone. Right? Yes, yes. Well, there's the temp dot. That's not what I mean, obviously. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's get one more fight. We have the little healy dealy. What else we got? We have the specific attack. Good. Free random attack. We have a support attack, which, I mean, I'm just going to be doing my thing. Yeah, I thought that might happen. This guy's going to be a little bit spookier. Perfect. There we go. We just need to roll literally any attack, which I think is impossible not to. So we want to upgrade your raw strength, but we want to upgrade this one's... Um, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm keeping him. I think I'm keeping him. All day. Bonfire. Give me a pouch on this sucker. Because now he gets two strength every turn? What? Why? 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 <laughs> Thank you, but Why? Um, there's no luck-based effects here that I care about. Obviously, the golden armor is potentially tempting. It's also just kind of tedious. I'm going to spend six bucks on this. Because, honestly, you can use it the whole game, and it'd be completely valid. Kind of a waste. Same with the dice uh, destruction. I just I do wonder about the reroll. Is there something... Should I take it over the, um... I could take it over the randoms. The random rotates. I'm not going to be in much of a random rotate mood today. I'm not uh, super attached to those those things, though. I, like, I, I would replace them. Perfect. Alright, um... A bit of a weird one. Strizzly and Chisley. I could reroll this. I don't really want to be rotated. Cool. Perfect. No reason why I'd care about re-rolling anything right now. Um. Statistical anomaly. Holy. Okay. Strengthen up. Okay. I mean, a clash isn't the end of the world. I kind of, um... I'm fine with it. It just moves the, the needle along a little bit more. Destroy. Goodbye. <laughs> Humana. Freaking Humana. Um, this one is really nice. Just a bunch of free regen. It's a great thing to take for a character that you're like, 
I don't really know what your exact purpose is this moment. Strength up. When ally hurt, grant a strength to the ally that got hurt for the rest of the battle. Like, I think that we kind of want to take that, though. That sort of just solves our whole team, is the thing. And being able to solve it this early is great. I think we don't ever take... We're not going to get any chests in the final zone as a result, but, like, this is... This is really good. If in the lead gain thorns, we kind of want to get rid of that. Does get the leech. Activate is not that big of a deal to me. Mm. It's a little annoying. There's no reason not to activate in this fight. We are going to get the thorns here, which is a little bit rough. That's being said, we get an energy blast. <laughs> All right. If inflicts an amount of bleed equal to half the on spawn, inflict the amount of bleed equal to half their strength. Yeah. If not in the lead, small chance of increasing the ally leader's strength by 50% for the rest of the turn. Yeah. Battle end two strength forever. Self inflict six confusion at battle start. Oy. Uh, to intelligence. We don't have any intelligence. I know, I've been trying to tell you that. Battle end two strength forever. That seems really workable. We want it on you because you're going to be getting so many free attacks. There's some tempting stuff there. You are a problem. Okay, so they do have the, uh, the stay alive. Ah! Ah, that! Ah. Yo! It's really good. The random taunt is an idea. Oh! It survives a fatal attack. That was not a fatal attack. Oh, okay, so Gambos can't be the one that gets hit. That makes sense. Ay ay ay. And turn token. We got the sweet berry. It's beautiful. It's all beautiful. We're gonna go for the extra die for sure here. Yes, thank you. Guard seems like a big yes to me. 
I don't even think I... I could go for the, the forced rotate, the guarantee. There's something useful about that, for sure. Okay. A little bit spooky here. Hurt, grant thorn to the ally leader. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Ooh, we have a destroy a die. Definitely take the guard. That's right. You are a bit of a weirdo. An oddball. We do want you dead here. Which does end up being a little bit strange. Get a little bit of regen out of it. We definitely should have uh, chilled on that a little bit, but I think it's fine. Passive 4 HP and 2 intelligence. I do not care about the intelligence. Forgot to put that back on. It didn't really matter. We don't have a strong, uh, strong necessity for intelligence. Who are you? On spawn, gain four strength for the rest of the battle. Okay. We don't really want to uh, rotate again. Who's got it? You do. Wait. Oh, when attacked. Specifically when attacked. I mean, it's also... It, it also already happened. I... 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 Game is rigged today. Absolutely rigged. Might as well. If he's not in the lead anyways. Okay, so you gotta go. The fun thing is we can just like... Rotate you. Do a couple attack, attack. one of the better things we can get with that die. This, there's a world in which I want to uh, rotate it. Okay, strengthen. We have the, we have the regen on the front. So we're cool with taking this six damage from him because he's not, you know, fully healed or whatever. I do take the three spikes. I think it's fine. It's fine to be missing about that much. Another one? Another one? It actually makes mo more sense on you. I'm, I can't imagine. <laughs> okay. Hello. He's just a guy.
All right. Um, we definitely have some dice faces to replace us if we want to. I don't know. It would be nice to have the guarantee movement. But I feel like that's actually like a pretty good layout for that one. So probably just leave it at that. Okay, you've got to be the one. You've got to be the one, my friends. Oh, now is it Lycanus? I'm not sure. When ally attacks. Which one of you attacked? did get a whole bunch of uh, healing healy dealy there technically we could do this and get another attack should I probably not but I, I definitely can energy shock is about the best we could assume Bye bye, pal. You didn't get hit by any of the randoms because this guy should have the ability to give him regen. Stone hand. I'll save that for a uh, for later, I guess. Gains an amount of strength every turn. Equal to the number of used equipment slots for the rest of battle. One, two, three, four. Four strength up every turn without having to try is truly staggering. <laughs> is this this could be okay. The reactivation attack all opponents could be okay as well. I just don't have a obviously a lot of activates. I think I'm just going to save my money and we'll just go ham at the, like, die shop on the next floor. When we get a whole nother die to work with. Okay, we want to be as careful as we can to not go for anything with you. We want you dead. When you die, everyone else gets your strength, which is not good. Ally KO'd, gain four strength. Hey. Perfect. I don't know how much we care to do this, but I'll do it anyways. Just as best we can, we want this guy to go away. We just want to hard focus on you and you alone. A clash is probably one of the better things we get out of that. Okay, a little bit, a little bit dicey. We do have to take this. Which is less than ideal. Because we don't want Whiskero to start. You're already retreated. We'll take the random. Perfect. That's that's it. 36, 36 strength? Why? Why? Exit lead grant reach into the new new leader. Actually. I really like that for uh, for Gambos. 
We are not replacing our Chimera, which is a bit of a bummer with this stuff. Let's do it. On attack, once per battle, gets six regen. I do prefer that to this. That's right. We, we'll be able to have that at the beginning of another one. Oh, crab bunklo! Oh, crab bunko, no. So the good news is you've already done your effect. So we go ham. We get you out of the way. It's the most important thing we could do. When attacked, inflict frozen on the attacker. A nine freaking regen. Energy blast is a must. I think a guard is a must. Good. Thirty-four damage. Thirty-four damage. Thirty-four damage. That's right. Thirty-four damage is what I've got here. Just for real. Just legitimately thirty-four damage. I can't. Another one could be good. We have Relentless. It's also it's a little overkill. Out of curiosity, what do you got here? Just a little guy. Ally hurt, do four damage to a random opponent. Exit lead, the new leader attacks is also a usable thing. Uh, uh, I'm probably going to regret that, but sure. Especially because the mirror could even just be that, whatever. We put that on, like, Gambos. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see what we got here that we probably will not take. Turn start, gain amount of strength equal to the opposing leader strength for the rest of the turn. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, we've had it. Had it before, it's good. It would go well with what we have, but also we just don't... We don't need to. I wish I could say, I don't want any. Just do not offer any. Whenever an ally attacks, if not in the lead... Also attacks once. All right. And then you attack. It's a lot. Oops. It's not... Not what I had meant. Ha! <laughs> Healing. Oh my, oh my. Bring it.
for the sake of getting a little bit more regen in, let's do this. What you do? Spell. Target ally gains five strength for the rest of the turn. That's pretty cool. Can be used four times in the whole battle. This has more potential to get silly. I'm just... I don't want to... I don't want to swap out my team. We're, we're keeping this starter till the end, dude. This... Squad. This one needs to die. I'm taking both clashes. I guess to attack for free, but it's okay. Yep. And we get to do a freebie. We don't want to kill here. There we go. Now we do. Just, just embarrass you a bit. Man alive. Alright, what's the final one that we're saying no to? Who is this? On spawn, six burn to all opponents. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good, but. Let's take that for now. It's... it's going to be an embarrassing amount of damage or a uh, regen but hey we take it couldn't care less about which one of you gets the taunts trip actually ends up being kind of good get the full AoE one. Perfect. <laughs> That's so fun to do. It is a little bit of a whoops in a way, because we are going to revive them. But like, there we go. There we go. We could do a clash. Forty-five damage. Forty-five. Forty-five. Unequip bonus equipment slot. On Un unequip minus two strength forever. I've. This is so stupid. Oh, but like. Gotcha. So if you're running somebody who's just a support, it's on equip, you get that forever. It's not gotcha. So for if you have somebody who you're like, yeah, I couldn't care less about their damage output. Like this guy. I just want him to be really good at supporting me. Then there you go. Uh, yeah, the question is here... We'll take up those randoms, but I don't know that I'm going to really be wanting to sub out my leader at this point. Ah! Ah! Uh, when attacked, remove all buffs on the opponents. Okay. You must perish. That did not technically count as an attack.
RIP stats. Unlikely to get anything else. And goodbye. Perfect stuff. Sleep token could be okay, but I also just don't care too much about it at this time. Thank you, though. Travel bags. I'll do that, because I can always just give that other person another equipment slot, since I don't care about their attack damage. Uh, Galvic, this has got to go. to regen, man. Attacked. When attacked, attack the opposing leader once. Not if you're dead. There we go. We just wanted to do it that way so that we could end the fight with full health on uh, on you. Gambos can't, but that's okay. Strength. Ooh. Got the dice smith at 184 bucks. Couple re-rollies. Why not? Definitely should be checking the shop first. There's no reason to go that ham. But I have a feeling... Yeah, I'm fine. This could be okay, but, like, it's it's a 20%. It's not crazy. <laughs> I like my setup the way it is. Up there. I think we got the right stuff. We're doing lots of attacks, so burn is going to be a little bit better. Uh-oh! Okay. Hear me out. So you've already procced this? Yes. Uh, yikes. <laughs> okay, um... can't make me attack somebody else because you are dead. Okay, so you've already done your thing. Okay. Good. Alright. This guy, it's this is the worst enemy in the entire game, and I'm not, I'm not joking. 
I'm getting you out of the way. Okay. It's genuinely a fine choice. Okay, so you're already up at seven strength. Definitely scary. That one can be an attack. 59 damage! I'll take it! 61! Hit me, I dare you! It's the double is the thing. 69. 69 damage. 69 strength. Incapacitated 12 strength for the rest of the turn. Turn end, small chance of getting... I'm not... I, I don't have a lot of incapacitate... I have one incapacitate face, so it'd have to be from an enemy in specific. I guess I'll do that. But we're already in our final zone, man. Impress me! Alright, what is the worst? Probably you. Should definitely, yeah, we gotta be careful there. We will rarely use our final die. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just, I feel like I want this guy gone. You, it's just a matter of time. We kind of got to work through it. Strength up. Guard is good. We'll go for a little bit of a clash. Yeah, we can, we can speed it. Getting this effect would be uh, one of the quick ways for me to start to have a problem. More. All right. What are the odds of that one? Wow. We actually can do this. It's not a big deal. It's also not a big deal on him. Somebody else, please. Thank you. Ooh! Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the, uh... That's the concern, isn't it? Okay. Cool. Just takes 100 damage at the end of the turn. We just need to work through. Oh my god, I got freaking 78. 80 damage. Yeah. You know, we can do this. 
Order of operations, I'm not sure on this one for the healing, so I would rather wait a sec. Good deal. What do you got, Gambos? It's kind of like a who cares. And we don't really need another pouch, so we will take the damage upgrade. And I don't have an extra die thing up here. Oh, oh, oh. Probably should do the AoE thing. I think I'm fine with an entangle. Shoot. I would rather him not do that. I want to keep him right here. So here's what I kind of want to do. I want to do this but soon, but I don't need to do it now. rough. I think we'll, well, we don't end her now. Yeah, we can't end her now. He's gonna do the charge up slash. I mean, the full revive all is just good. Twenty eight. I'm waiting to get like an even better upgrade there. If we could get the crown, I kind of want a crown. fine. So he's going to do 16 damage to me when he shows up. I don't like the rainbow scourge there. 35. I mean, we're going to have to just bring it on. That sucks, ah, you jerk. No, did you, ah, you son of a gun, you. Twice he rolled it, huh? It doesn't matter at all, but that is, it got us some um, hundreds of damage. So like, it's kind of a who cares moment at the same time. Fully revive your allies, idiot. Seventy-two damage. All right, I'm ready for the final boss now. Where's the final boss? I'm ready. Is he coming? All right. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> that was so. Dumb Reptel. Uh, new equipment unlocked. Cobra Sar. All right. Yeah, this um, the iridescent starters. Oh boy, are they not made equal? <laughs> Look at this. So, do we get to see? We don't get to know what the other one is yet. When enter or exit lead, deal one damage to a random opponent, which is if they're in the front. 
going to the front or leaving the front, do one damage. So basically, on rotate, do one damage, unless you're not part of the uh, the rotations. The shiny is do one damage to a random opponent on rotation. So it's like, it's almost not even a change at all. It's so bad. And then this, on spawn, gain amount of strength equal to the number of slots used. Whatever. That's okay. Like, that's fine, right? If you have full inventory slots right away, it takes you from 6 to 11 damage. Pretty good. Probably not worth keeping. Every turn do that is mind-blowing. And then, on top of it, just because, here's two more strength as well. It's nuts. Like, the Iridescent doesn't even get any stats up. Like, bare minimum. Bare minimum, this sucker needs to have two damage on rotation. And, like, I can't deny, like, this sucker probably needs to get rid of this passive, right? This going from uh, on spawn to turn start is good enough. Let me be clear. It's good enough. He doesn't need the two extra strength as well. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. This has been Dice Folk. Uh, yeah. If we're done here, we're done here. Thank you so much for watching. If we're not, then we'll be back tomorrow. But Dice Folk has been a wonderful time. I really appreciate it. Uh, it was nice to absolutely rip it in half today. Uh, what's the new upgrade? You start with two tokens. The additional enemy die gets stronger. That does seem like uh, another swing another swing in the game's favor instead of a swing in your favor, which I think that's kind of fun. I, I would say, like, step one is almost a swing in your favor. Step two is, uh, depending on your faction, could be a swing in their favor, a swing in your favor. Uh, this one feels kind of like a swing in your favor. This one is definitely... I would say this one is definitely a swing in their favor. It depends unless these are, are like wild tokens. But all in all, the trial mode has been so much fun because I really like it when an ascension system is like, yes, the game is getting harder, but you are able to make a stronger build or you will have a stronger run than you will be able to have on zero difficulty. But you need to have that strength to keep up with the game. I think that's a great system. I, I really like it. Uh, stellar, stellar interpretation of the standard Ascension system. Big improvement on it. But last, last, that's that. This is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.